I will now guide, guide you through lesson three. Remember to leave at least a day after completing lesson two. The first thing we need to do is to retest the positives from the previous rows process. By retest the positives, I mean the words on the marking page, on the control page, which have a tick by them, which your student spelt correctly when they were previously tested. Now remember, it's important to realise that words will only go through, through the Raw's process on one occasion. You will only teach your student on one occasion with these words, provided that in future, when tested, that your student remembers them. Okay? So, some words will only go through the process once. Other words, if your student has forgotten, will receive a dot on the control page. And those words will go back through the Rose process again. In practice, many words will go through the Rose process only once, and your student will always remember them when you test them. So they get five consecutive ticks. But some words will go through the Rose process um, sometimes, on several times, several occasions, or on many occasions. I will now turn to the control page on page 53 for the most used words 1 to 50. We can see here that from the previous Rose process, the words with ticks were remembered by my student. The words with dots were forgotten. So now I have to test to see whether my student Kira remembers the words with a tick opposite them. So I'll ask her to spell those, write those down on paper. The words that have dots need to go back through the Rose process again as do the other words here which are unmarked and have yet to be taught. So here is what Kira has done with the five words from the marking page. I'll mark them on paper. So they has been forgotten, as has when, but from, with and are are correct. So I now need to transfer the results from here onto the marking page. So they receives a dot. When also receives a dot, but from and with and are get ticks because they've been remembered. The next step is to complete the Rose process from the previous lesson. So I need to test my student's spelling of the words on row G of the Rose form. So I'll take the Rose form from the flap at the back of the manual, fold it so the words are hidden, and place it in front of my student. If I turn to the spelling dictation box and I'll read the words for my student to write on row G of the spelling form. I shall now mark the words on row G. So I'll put a tick by B, can, do gets a dot, tick that, dot each, dot what, tick have, tick said. I'll put the date here. I now need to record these results on row G back on the control page. So turn back to page 53 and I shall now record these results. So B receives a tick. Can gets a tick. Do gets a dot. Each gets a dot. What gets a dot. Have gets a tick. And have tick. And said also receives a tick. That completes the Raw's process. After completing the Raw's process, the next thing we need to do is to make sure that there aren't any words on the SUS3 page, the reading page on page 32, that need to be done. This may not be necessary, all the words may have been completed. So we turn to the SUS3 page for reading. If there's any words on here with a dot that don't have three consecutive ticks, simply ask your student to read them, tick if necessary, dot if they get the word wrong, and practice that word again. This step may not be necessary because all the words may have been read correctly previously. The final thing on lesson three is to do another Rose process. So we turn to the flap 
at the back of the book, take a rose form, a spelling form, and we open page 53, our control page. So we'll take the rose form, write the student's name here and the date here. We look at the control page. Words with dots in the last column need to be taught again. So we have do, each, they, what, when. So that's all the dotted words. And we look some, for some words here which haven't been taught yet. So if we work our way down, we see use, which, and finally to make up our eight words, we have word. The same eight words written on row A of the rows form, we'll now write in a spelling dictation box. Put the date here to match the date on the rows form and write the eight words in here. Now follow the third rows process. That completes lesson three on the lesson guide.